Hi viewers, welcome back. Today I come up with an other informative video with the caterpillar generators. So problem is that this generator is not starting. So first time here is the engine model. Okay, three five one two G D two thousand eight. Okay, here I can see here's the this error is coming. Okay, so problem uh, is showing here this uh, emergency switch because when I this is off stop position, so this is a good auto after I run. Is uh, light is running, but in here you can uh, heard the this generator is not starting. It's showing here right at run position. It means starting position, but here is it on stop. So this uh, emergency switch is you now is uh, active, and I now is uh, deactivate. But here is it on stop. So I think this uh, emergency switch have the problem. Apparently this switch looking good, but maybe backside its contactor is malfunctioning. It remain the active. Activated. Therefore this maybe is problem. But this panel I have I am going to remove it and check inside this emergency is uh, deactivated or uh, remain activated so here's now i'm going to remove this panel this need a uh, 8 mm spanner i'm going to remove this this bolt one two three four five six and seven these are seven bolt i will remove then i open the panel Okay, so I'm going to stop video here because I'm alone. I can't uh, uh, hold my camera and uh, open this one panel. It's difficult. So after removing the panel and uh, removing this uh, emergency switch, then I let you know what is the problem inside. Okay, so I'm going to stop video here. And uh, so this bolt is uh, almost loose. So as you can see, I have removed this uh, panel, so it's my emergency switch. So I'm going to remove, open this, uh, these two screw. One is here, one is here, and I remove this uh, contactors. So I think this contactor is not uh, deactivating. So it remains active. So I am going to remove this uh, contactor. Okay, uh, this, uh, these two screw, remove this screw. After removing this uh, contactor, I check its uh, contacts okay, and let you know. So here are the three, three contactors. One is the upside. One is this one, and two are downsides. Okay, I also need to remove these two also. For it, I have to remove downside these two more two screws. I have to remove. I just uh, lose them. Okay, so. Okay, so this one is a. This, con this lock is open and here is a one lock. Here's one lock is a inside and one this one is a upside. You can clearly see it. Pushing. This is a downside I'm going to push. So you can see this come upside. But this is still there. I push it again. I remove it. I deactivate. So here we can press it, it's pressed, but this is not pressed, this is not pressed, yes, you can see, noise go down, okay, I push it, okay, come out, okay, when deactivate, this go down, this point is go down, but this point is still there, you can see, 
so this is a problem this is a problem this lock is remain unlocked it's not go down I by it push very difficult then it go but this is again check I this time this uh, deactivator now I push the so you can both come upside but when deactivate so you can see this one is lock is go down and one is still there so this is a problem so I gave order of this uh, new emergency switch this emergency switch is malfunctioning but meanwhile I press by hand this time I deactivate so this time my emergency is deactivated so in this way I fix back contactors okay in this condition now my emergency is deactivated so I am fixing the contactor back and order the new emergency okay so I will check my uh, alternate generator is starting or not okay I it's mean one problem is clear my this emergency have a problem so I order the new emergency switch a new emergency will come then I will I will fix it and I let you know but this time my emergency is also is in a deactivated condition I fix back the contactors okay so I will try to start my generator so here's uh, these two contactor downside already fixed now is fixing this third one upper one now I only going to screw fixing the screw I already my work has finished okay so now this time I manually deactivate my emergency switch now I'm going to fix back this panel so it's a difficult big panel panel is a very big so it's a difficult for one hand I fix it so I am going to my stop video here I fix the panel then I will show you uh, my generator is starting or not you can see I have fixed back the panel okay so now I'm going to switch on the generator so here's my switch this is my key switch I'm going to on it so here you can see now the power has come here okay so here you can see now is a not anymore is a flashing okay so now is a clear everything here I'm going to start so that uh, auto going to start so you can hear the sound so here you can see now I have uh, stopped the engine okay so my problem has solved you and I'm going to start please check it put auto I put I am going to start. So generator is starting. Please hope you like this video. Please don't to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends. So when I will put the new emergency switch, I will make another video how to change this emergency switch.